Hello everyone. Today we will discuss how to get user current location in Android. And most importantly, we will learn how to get location updates repeatedly in the background after some specific interval even while not using the application. So first of all, I am going to explain location permissions that are required for an application to get the device location. The first permission is access underscore fine underscore location. This permission is required for all Android versions. Devices having Android version below 10, this single permission is sufficient to get the device location in both cases while using the application as well as while not using or interacting with the application. The second permission is access underscore background underscore location. If your app is targeting Android version 10 or higher and you want and you also want to get location updates while not interacting or using the application then you will have to provide this additional location permission in the manifest file. So for devices having Android version 10 or higher both access fine location and access background location permissions are required to get the device location. The second important thing is the location dialog. If the device that you are using is having Android version 10 or higher, then these two dialog will be shown. First, you will see this dialog having three options while using the app only this time or deny the permission. Then if you click while using the app, it will take you to the location permission settings of the application. And here you can see one more option, allow all the time. So this gives more control to the user to restrict the device location for an application. And if you are testing the application on a device that is having Android version below 10, then you will see this simple dialog having only two options, deny and allow. And if you allow, then that permission will be sufficient to get the device location for both cases while using the application as well as while not using or interacting the application. The third permission which is required is foreground underscore service. Basically due to battery usage, security and privacy and ride higher versions don't allow long processes in the background. So if you wanna to do something in the background, then you will have to create a foreground process. So in this case, if you, uh, if you wanna to get location updates in the background, we will also have to create a foreground service. A foreground service must display a notification in the bar. To keep to, to actively keep the user informed that a process is running. And if your app is targeting Android 9 or higher version and you don't provide foreground service permission in the manifest file, then it will throw an exception, security exception. Now I am giving a demo to get the things more clear.
this is the application that I have developed open it and this is the main screen there are two buttons start service and stop service click start service button since my device is having Android version 11 that's why it's showing me this dialog asking for location permission while using the app only this time or deny the permission click while using the app now you can see it took me to the location permission settings of the application and you can see one more option allow all the time which gives more control to the user to restrict the device location so i am choosing allow only while using the app permission and check the behavior so select this option and go back to the application now start service now you can see it's asking that you have granted allow only while using the app permission so if you want to get the location updates while not using or interacting with the application allow all the time permission since this time i am checking with allow only while using the app permission so start service anyway now you can see that the service has been started and i am getting the location updates so you can see that location latitude and longitude are printing on the screen after some specific interval and i have set that interval for 3 second now i am closing the application so you can see that the location updates have been stopped now i am getting no more location updates it's because that I have granted allow only while using the app permission. Now open the application again, stop service and start and start service again. Now this time I wanted to check the application behavior with allow all the time permission. So grant background permission choose allow all the time and go back to the application now start the service now this time i allowed the application for all the time so you can see that i am getting the location per uh, that i am getting the location updates after 3 seconds now i am closing the application and check the behavior so now in this time i am not interacting or using the application and you can see that still i am getting the location updates on the screen in the form of latitude and longitude so you can see that latitude and longitude are printing on the screen if if i remove the application completely then still i am getting the location updates so you can see that the location updates are printing on the screen this is because that now this time i have granted allow all the time permission one thing more that I would like to explain that you can see a notification in the bar which is saying location new is running. This is because I have created a foreground process and in the background I am getting the location updates. So this is the whole scenario and use case that this app is covering. Now coming towards the code. This is the manifest file and you can see 
I have granted all the required three permissions foreground service fine location and background location and this is the main activity where I start and stop the service you can see start service function and stop service function these two functions are responsible for starting and stopping the service and I am calling these functions when these two buttons start service button and stop service button are clicked respectively with some additional F conditions. This is the location service which is extending service class and in the onCreate method you can see I am creating a foreground service and then I am requesting location updates and in the top you can see that I am setting some basic variables for location. So the code is very simple and self-explanatory still if you have any issue please ask in the comments. I am giving the code link in the video description. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you.